something where it looks like they, they've diverged, that it's most likely just updating the, the data coming back in, and it's not updating it exactly at the same time. But VGSO1, VSS Unity, and O3 White Knight there, um, both appearing on Flight Radar. And if you want to track this yourself, I'm going to go ahead and also put this into the chat. Massive thanks again for the Flight Radar folks letting us use this here so that we can show something while Jack is moving. Getting information from Jack, he's probably about uh, 10 minutes away from getting the live feed set up from the drop zone as we watch the carrier aircraft and the spacecraft do this big loop. They're going to be turning back to the north, and they're going to uh, go way back up there north of the spaceport, where Jack is setting up to get at that live feedback. And then, once hundred thousand of us get to play the game, where we help Jack find play yeah. the sky. Everybody, it's, it's, it's so hard to see in the camera viewfinders out there. Um, we don't know exactly where it is. AR location win for exact positioning in real time, but uh, you'll help us look. Jack is going to point the camera through the sky. Sometimes we'll get lucky, we'll get a nice long contrail pointing right to the carrier aircraft, and that lets us acquire it, but you never know out there in the desert uh, exactly the environment we're going to have today when it's time to look towards the sky just before the drop. And I think it's worth noting, I'm looking at the, uh, the info here, and it, it looks like they're at about 38,000 feet right now. So they're already, by the way, yeah. is, that, is that right? A calibrated altitude? They're getting mm -hmm. up there. So they'll, Indeed. They'll do a yep. big oval. So right now you see them going south. They went loop around a, a lot further north than they previously flew, at least a bit further north. And then they will do the drop headed south back towards the space port. So kind of will be in a direct line to say the port once you do the drop. Yeah. Sometimes uh, you hear this referred to as a racetrack. I don't know if Virgin Galactic uses the term racetrack, but for some of the uh, orbital launchers, right, mm -hmm. we'll see the carrier aircraft flying a big oval pattern like this, and they sort of line up for the drop, and then they come around again, they line up for the drop, and they come around again. So uh, I don't know that Virgin Galactic calls this the racetrack, but sometimes you'll hear the term the racetrack. They're flying the racetrack here. These other two planes that are that are flying around, um, what are what's their uh, what's their purpose? Are these just uh, chase planes here? I, I these would most likely be, yeah. Yeah, the one that turned around might be a chase plane. The other one might be the one that's going over the Rio Grande right there might just be a private flight. I'm going to keep it on on this track right now, but I know the one that's gone north and then turned back around that may be a chase plane. Okay, they're, yeah, they're at uh, about 16,000 feet, so they're, they're way below. Aircraft type PC-12, what, what is that? Yeah, not sure. Not sure, yeah. Uh, looks like...